Frank Lovejoy. I'm glad to be with you again on the star on the story. Provocative is the word for the story we have tonight, and it's one from the collection of Somerset Maugham. The action takes place somewhere in the Pacific amid lush tropical islands. It's called Honolulu. It's full of shadow and mystery for the Occidental mind. If it happened, well, suppose you be the judge of its connotations. If it happened. We hope you like Honolulu. The islands of the Hawaiian archipelago follow each other in almost single file from southeast to northwest for more than 1,200 miles. That's the Island Queen, my ship. I captain any kind of cargo you want to move. And that's me, Captain Harry Butler. And this is the story of the Queen's strange voyage from Niho, the outer island in the chain, to Oahu, Honolulu. You don't have to believe this story if you don't want to. But it happened to me, and it happened right after I took my bride off the island, the beautiful Princess Nina. The beautiful Nina, whose name had been shortened from yard length, was a pearl among pirates. Well, a few hundred years ago, they would have been pirates. Now they were just kind of seagoing thugs. We had one passenger for our run to Honolulu, a Dr. Philip Martin, who had sailed out to the island to cure an old retired plantation owner. He didn't even arrive in time for his funeral. Just a wedding. Mine. Congratulations. Glad to have you aboard, Doc. Now we can sail with the tide. Party's over, man. Let's get to work. Take care of the doctor's bags. How many days to Oahu? You know, I don't care if we never get there. I'm on a honeymoon. What's the matter with him? A little too much celebrating. He's a little crazy anyway. I'll say this for him. He's the best saltwater sailor this side of the Fijis. That's a lot of water, Captain. That's a lot of sailor. I don't know what I'd do without him. I don't want anything the matter with him. He's up to his ears in voodoo. Magic. Island moon magic, they call it. He believes it like a book. He's got a touch of the kahuna in him. He say no. Sure, he say no, and I say yes. Come on, Doc. I'll brew you some coffee. Thanks. Sounds good to me. What am I talking about? I don't have to do things like that anymore. I got a wife to wait on me. All right, Princess? I love you, Captain Butler. You can call me Harry now. Perhaps I'd better go to my cab and leave you two alone. It's all right, Doc. Come on in. I make water hot. Take yourself at home. Sit down. Thank you. Now, it's real company having a man of medicine on board. Well, one of these halls, one of my crew came down with appendicitis. I had to operate on it myself. It was rough. How? Oh. Well, don't report me to any medical association, but I uh, use my anatomy chart in the encyclopedia. Report you? <laughs> They'll probably send you a medal. Well, not if they saw that scar. You mean he lived? Sure he lived. What are you going to do with that? Put away. Hide. No, 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 honey. No, this calabash is my lucky piece. Native doctor gave her to me, and a little while later I found you. Calabash dangerous. How dangerous? More dangerous than gun. You and Emu and that old hoodoo voodoo. Uh, what about the calabash? You put water in. Look down, see your face. Picture in water. That's your soul. You don't say. I do say, and I say more. If somebody hit calabash, break up your picture in water, your soul is destroyed. You die. Said that real cute, didn't she? Princess, this is one superstition I'm going to cure you of right now. I'm going to show you how silly this whole thing is. What do you do? What am I going to do? I'm going to look in there and break the image, and then we'll see if I die or not. No! Honey, I didn't know it'd set you off your rocker like that. You're trembling. I didn't mean to scare you, honey. I think I'll go to my cabin, if you'll excuse me. What's the matter with him? He's been acting goofier than usual. 
You noticed it? I have noticed. What do you suppose is eating him? Now you know something of that. Never mind that coffee. What is it? Now what about it? I can't afford to have the first mate go sour on me. It'll affect the whole crew. What do you know about it? What's wrong with Emo? Emo in love with me. He's what? He tried to kiss me. I slap his face. Now he's plenty mad. That hyena in love? That's the funniest thing I ever heard. Not funny, Captain Husband. I'm afraid. You're afraid of Emo? Emo! Emo! Princess, if I thought there was any truth in that, I'd lay him out so cold he'd think a man must fell on it. Yes? Sir? Why aren't we moving? Engine broke down. Take all day to fix. I want it fixed by tonight. I'll try. Emo! Wait a minute, I want to ask you something. You ever been in love? You want that engine fixed? I was just taking a friendly interest. There's no harm in asking, is there, mister? Go on, beat it. Don't tease him, please, Captain Husband. It's the best medicine in the world for him. If he part Kahuna, very bad. Kahuna man do anything for love, even kill. Prince, you've got to snap out of that. You're my wife now, Mrs. Captain Butler. You've got to learn it the way I do. At least a little bit. Okay? First, you must promise something to Mrs. Captain. You say it and it's done. Now, what do you want? A string of pearls? I've got them for you and they're hidden away. There's string as long as the islands. Pearls that shine like moons. No one pearls. Next part, you fire Emo. Can't do it, Princess. He's too valuable to me. Besides, with him running the ship, I have more time to love you. With him on board, maybe time run out. Never. The rest of our lives, I promise you, we'll sail an ocean full of honeymoons. It's a promise. Again, you'll get the whole court. Catch! Yeah. You get back to work. I want that engine running by nightfall. That'll hold Emo for good. I don't have to worry about that monkey anymore. He kahuna. Now he use spirits to ride angry wind. You gotta snap out of that. If he so much as looks at you, I'll kill him deader than a mackerel. Make me pretty, honey. Captain Butler put enough already. Haircut finished. Oh. Boy, look at that hair. There's enough there to make a mattress. I get broom. Hair must be burned. Hair smells terrible when it's burning. Just throw it overboard. No, must burn. Hair bad magic. Very bad. I get broom. this morning. What are you doing? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? 
What do you want with that hunk of hay? You making a collection? I know you'll laugh at me, but hair has magic. Cures headaches. Throw it down. You pig! You filthy pig! Drop it! Search him. Please search him. See if he take more hair. I don't care if he has. He says it cures headaches. Maybe it'll cure his. Go on, he won't beat it. You should search him, Emo lie. What difference does it make? I want some peace and quiet around here. Plenty of peace and quiet after you die. Captain Husband? Very happy, Mrs. Captain. You feel good, Captain Husband? I feel very good. I wish old Moon would go and get full again. This one suits me. Old Moon, very bad time. Voodoo's strong during old Moon. Blood can't fight during old Moon. The princess? You're gonna drive me batty with that kind of talk. Me sorry, Captain Husband. I keep quiet. Don't be sorry. Captain Husband love you very much. You can say anything you want to. is about the engine. We've been stuck here for two days. I imagine after a few days rest, you'll be on your feet again. There's nothing wrong with you. How come I'm so weak I can hardly walk? Well, maybe uh, if I... Uh... Why don't you go on spinning around and hand me the first bottle you touch? Sorry, Doc, but it looks like you're striking out. Me too. I've tried everything. I mean, everything I can aboard ship. Possibly when we get to Honolulu. If. Come now, Captain, don't talk like that. Nobody passes out from nothing. It ought to look real funny on a death certificate. Cause of death, blank. Why don't you level with me? I am. Well, level some more. Well? It's better. You have no symptoms, only a disease. It'll look good in the medical journal. Well, after all, there are many unclassified diseases. And some that are classified are baffling at times. In a case like this, it's... Oh, stow it, stow it, Doc. This is my body you're lecturing over. They know can get engine fixed. Well, we're not making much better progress here. You'll be all right. You lie. You lie. It's pretty direct. Doc. You got poison. Poison? Me kill Emo before Emo kill Captain Husband. You're out of your mind. Why not? Let's try anything. Where are we, Captain? One day south of Kauai. Near Papakoa. Papakoa? How far is that from Honolulu? You'll never find it. It's a hunk of coral. No, no, nothing like that. You must, Captain Husband, you must. What is it? She wants to call in a specialist. Specialist? I don't think you'd approve. 
Princess! Different kind of a specialist, huh? I like his bedside manner. Otanate Wati. Masina Noto. He say enemy pray you to death. What? Enemy pray him die. You pass out with old moon unless the enemy die first. How do you like that diagnosis? Just a lot of nonsense. Not even gonna have a consultation with you, man. Please believe me, Captain Husband. Or you never seen no moon. Pain. Old moon sail away soon. I would sail with it. Take me in my room. Sextant. You're a thieving liar. Get out. You're dying. You understand when you're dying. Shut up, Nina. He's not dying. Doc, we've given your pills and your shiny instruments a good crack at it. We're going to try something else. Must kill him, who must. Give me my gun. Don't let him do this, Nina. Let me buy Dr. Martin. in jail. There's no corpus delicti, Doc. The way we bury them, sharks take care of. But I'm a witness. A witness to murder. Sorry, Doc. I guess you booked passage on your last ship. You mean you'd kill me too in cold blood? But what if you die anyway? You'll be carting two corpses along with you. That might take a little explaining on the other side. If you believe in the other side. Maybe I won't have to kill you, Doc. Maybe I'll miss him. Six times. That gun is so heavy, you can't hold it up anyway. I'll find strength enough to flip it up and shoot it. I doubt it.
What does he want me for? Him dead? No, he isn't dead. Captain Butler died before morning. I think you're right. Captain Butler won't last out tonight. You captain now. You love me? I move out of this cabin. I'll get the ship underway. Engine broke. Where are the pearls? I find. Find them, my captain. He had them hidden in the calabash. husband as well? Yes. What did you kill him with? I strangled him. With these. you again. Tell me, Doc, I'm curious. How did you fill out that report on Emo? In a vague sort of way. Tell Doctor the present we have for him. Oh, yeah. We wrapped it up and put it with your luggage. Oh, that's very kind of you, but you don't owe me anything. Well, it'll make me feel better. Seems there was a time I wanted to kill you. Don't worry. I don't remember. But you will every time you look at that present. Don't fill it up with water, Doc. You might forget and wash your hands. 